Hey there guys, it's m 3 on the Duelist from Pro Channel, giving you guys my Cyber Dark Decker file. This is an absolute labor of love. It's just something that I just, I never thought was actually something reliably playable, much less something actually good that you can take to a locals and stuff. And of course my variant is something my own, you know, my own kind of flavor to it. You can play this a bunch of different ways, but yeah, let's get it started. Uh, double beast, draw power, triple squamata, mana, you're uh, foolish. Uh, double Keel, Double Horn, and Triple Edge. I prefer the Triple Edge because I can just attack over you. Uh, Horn can do Piercing and Keel can just do plus 3, you know, that, that basically does 300 damage when it destroys a monster. Not that big of a deal. But there's plenty of times when there's bigger beat sticks and bigger walls than what I can deal with, especially for Horn. And uh, so Edge just fly right over. And of course, when uh, Cannon and Triple Can, Triple Claw, uh, Cannon allows me to do another Foolish, and Claw allows me to uh, do a Foolish from uh, from Extra Deck. Uh, of course, search for Monster, search for Spell, and of course with Edge, I can you know equip one of these, however, and still get their effects while equipped. Double Shot Off Falco, not really for the Synchro play, honestly. It's just one of those things like once there is a Link monster that I could reliably bring out, and especially if it's a uh, generic Dark, that'd be amazing. Uh, just for right now, it's just for field presence. If it gets into graveyard, special summon it face on defense. When it gets flipped up, bring back one of these other bitches, so on and so forth. It just keeps up field presence, so I don't have to worry about just having one beat stick on the field. Uh, uh, triple uh, triple allure, I'm about to say, should all dark darkness. Allure of darkness. Uh, we're playing with a bunch of dark. As simple as that. Double overload fusion. I I, I wouldn't say do any more than two. You can play with one. That's perfectly fine. But I just like the consistency of the two. And of course, I have ways to get rid of it. It becomes uh, a dead draw. Same with Shadow Fusion. It's just one of the things that's, I mean, just the one win uh, window allows me just to kind of control the field, allow me to modulate my, my opponent's plays. And of course, uh, Wendy can't be destroyed by Carfax either. So that's actually something kind of kind of neat nowadays. Uh, one Terraform because we are playing Triple the Field Spell. Triple Dark Roll Dealing, because of course these guys can all become dead rolls, and if I don't have Shadow Fusion, they can't really do their plays. So yeah, and of course if I ever want to send one of these bastards to the graveyard, that's fine too. Uh, double Star, uh, <laughs> Double Cyber Dark Impact. I cannot talk today, man. Uh, basically it's the archetype, it's the archetype polymerization. It requires one of each by name. But allowing you to do hand, uh, hand decker, uh, hand graveyard or field is amazing. I absolutely love it. I go for this more than Overload Fusion because uh, Claw can actually search for it. So that's really cool. Triple Power Duality, it's one of the things I don't really special summon all that much. So I just, I normally summon a lot. Uh, if I ever special summon, it's mostly because either of Falco, which is not all the time, and I can usually work around it. And even then, I don't really need to use Falco's effect to get my engine off. Or basically going for a fusion summon. So I, you know, there's I can basically plan ahead for it. And of course, just being able to get a plus one draw, which is a pseudo search in a sense. But yeah, uh, future fusion. God, I wish this card. I hope this card comes back to two. Yes, it could be abused, sort of. It takes three turns to fully pop off to to resolve. But I mean, come on. I mean, cosmic cycle and twin twister uh, MST. I mean. Hell, even uh, Dispel, <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's stupid shit. You know, a lot of stuff can just get rid of it, so, yeah. Uh, Triple Cyberdark Inferno. Man, it protects all the Cyberdark monsters from targeting and destruction when they're equipped with, uh, you know, with anything, really. And uh, when it gets destroyed, I can search out, and it has to be destroyed by opponent's card factory. You can't just destroy it yourself. Keep that in mind. But uh, when it gets destroyed by card effect, by opponent, I get to search for a fusion, or a card that says fusion in the name. The other one. I wish this had, I wish this said fusion in it. Holy crap, I just oh synergy. Anyways, what's good for the extra deck? Uh, one dragon master knight, I'll get to why and uh, five eye dragon, I'll get to why in a second. Uh Cyber Darkness at two and Cyber Dragon at two. Now here's the reason why I play these guys. These guys can equip dragons. Any dragon. So if these are in graveyard, which is possible because you attacked when this was equipped and you dump from extra deck. You can make him into a 7,000 beat stick easy, and of course he's at least a 6,000 beat stick easy. It's, I mean, it just allows you to get over basically everything and make your opponent really scramble to try to get rid of him, which is going to be kind of hard with the field spell out. Uh, when when Winda, I did play two. I might bump it back up to two. I I think I have one somewhere. I need to find it, IRL. 
uh triple nessus because god when he gets hit when it hits graveyard just if it hits graveyard pop a card on the field for no reason you can pop anything that's you know on your side of the field your opponent's side of the field hell the guy on guy across the room on his field who gives a fuck it's so good man <laughs> One lightning, one ray. I, I just I do ray because I don't because prime with the twenty five ten. That's the, I don't care. And of course one utopia, which you could obviously get rid of for ray. You don't have to play it. Now yes, I am only playing with a thirteen extra deck. That's perfectly fine. I do want to expand this into link. Um, there is a vanilla link that just it just requires two monsters. It points uh, uh, bottom left, bottom right, and I think its stats are zero zero. And of course, hopefully when I get YGO Pro or YGO Pro two. Finally freaking working. Holy crap, it's been a nightmare. It's like it just doesn't want to give me all of the cards. It so yeah, I'm I'm hoping to actually expand this into some link plays and uh hopefully be able to do more than one fusion summon. So anyways guys, if you like what you see, please comment like subscribe. Down in the description is uh do us on Facebook page, me on Patreon, me on eBay, if you guys ever wanna check that stuff out. I always try to put stuff up, especially stuff that uh seem either interesting or actually just just um uh, just pricey because i just want to make money <laughs> to be honest so yeah tips tricks advice if you guys ever want to do that comment down below anyways guys thanks for watching